Hello, hello, my name is Jani, and this is a cross stitch channel where we talk about uh, fabrics and materials and charts, and sometimes we make mistakes, like in this case, <laughs> where I have to on a stitch. <laughs> Frogging is the, the 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 term or the word that we use when we on a stitch where we undone what we have been stitching because I I have the wrong color <laughs> so I have to I need to, to stitch this part again. I stitch it with a really light color and I don't know I guess I um, I was confused by the symbols and it was the the first um, symbol that I use in this project and unfortunately I stitch it wrong so <laughs> and I, I you know I was looking at the at the design and I was it it looks weird <laughs> but I say you know it's a, a light color so perhaps that should be the color but no <laughs> I was looking and looking and and I was um recording my Spanish video where I did another uh, stitch with me and I was talking a little about um, how we can convert colors from uh, a design and I was telling you know what if, if you don't like this part and you don't want to to stitch it in in a pink color you can change it to green so you need one two three and I start to look in, to look really close this light color and I said this doesn't look right <laughs> so yeah I make a mistake and because I'm using uh, CXC flosses instead of DMC I was thinking you know perhaps because the colors are not um, exactly the same shade perhaps my color it's a little lighter I don't know <laughs> I was trying to to find the you know the the um, to resolve my my mistake but no it was a mistake <laughs> so I am I spent like an hour um, on you know on stitching this <laughs> and then I added these uh, metallics uh, instead of the of the beading because this is a 40 count so I will use um, metallics instead of mill heels so you can see here um, it's really really pretty and it looks oops <laughs> really shiny so yeah I'm going to be using um, metallic thread instead of, of beading and I decided to to put the the metallic uh, stitches <laughs> so I just have to to stitch the rest of the crosses <laughs> in this uh, central area so it should be easy no <laughs> No, it's not easy. <laughs> I I was really hoping to finish this project um, this week, but I, I I haven't been able to to finish it. Um, I I was not really motivated to stitch. I don't know. I don't know what's what's wrong what but I was not really in the mood 
and I was um, watching some uh, Netflix uh, programs, so that was not <laughs> the best idea to finish my stitching. So yeah, I I finish uh, watching um, Dark, the German um, series. It's really really good. I finish the season three and it's a show about uh, time traveling and but uh, all the the events uh, happen in a small uh, German uh, village so every, every everyone is related <laughs> and because they travel in time uh, it start to get really really messy because uh, the, the human relations uh, are really complicated and every time they are uh, traveling the the plot thickens <laughs> so but it's really good and I really enjoyed the, the season three because even though it was really um, sometimes uh, confusing to watch, <laughs> um, the, the the final chapters were were really um, exciting and it was a, a really good uh, final. Um, episodes um, so yeah I, I watch dark and then I start uh, watching a Korean series you know like uh, romantic dramas and they are so addictive <laughs> I I start a couple of weeks ago and this week I am watching uh, Mr. Sunshine and it's so good it's um, it's you know a, a really well done production and even though it's a uh, romantic um, drama um, the 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 main couple, you know, never kiss or anything like that. They are very, very demure in, in their actions and they just, you know, hold hands and talk to each other. And it's, it's really, really, you know, romantic in that way, you know, like a very classic way. So, yeah. I am really enjoying uh, watching uh, this this uh, program in particular, Mr. Sunshine. And but if if I'm watching something in English or in Spanish, I don't really need uh, to read the subtitles. But in Korean, <laughs> I have to read the the subtitles. And um, besides. All the photography and all the performances are so uh, good to watch. <laughs> so yeah, I can stitch. <laughs> so yeah, I I am you know having fun with my Korean uh, programs. And besides that, I I make the mistake of of uh, you know. Uh, using the wrong colors, so my finish for this week was not a um, doable doable thing. <laughs> so sorry, but hopefully next week I will have a finish, and I also have to to show you some um, some holes holes and some mm, 
fully finished and gifts that I received. So yeah, uh, I hope that next week I have, you know, better content. <laughs> But we'll see, we'll see. I, I enjoy the process as, as as usual. And lately I'm struggling with my thread because, <laughs> I don't know, I, I have to, to finish with very, um, very short thread. So it's the, the, how do you say it? The chicken thread? Or the thread chicken <laughs> when you finish with just a little tiny piece of, of thread but yeah it's not good and I was watching uh, last week uh, a video from Nicole needle needlework Nicole's needlework yeah and in her YouTube she made a um stitch with me and it was amazing <laughs> i was you know um watching her uh stitching and she has a, a beautiful technique she also stitch in hand uh with the sewing method but it's it's a joy to, to watch her stitching. Um, she has a very, very clean uh, technique, a really fast one, very precise. So, yeah, I was, you know, um, <laughs> uh, it, it, it's almost like a hypnotic movement that she, she does, but yeah, it's great. And it's great to, to watch all these different techniques. Uh, I always say um, you need to find the way you feel good stitching because I don't like to, to, to say that it's that there is a right way to stitch or a wrong way to stitch. You must find your way and your technique and it's very valid to to want to to learn for example how to stitch with a hoop or with a stand and it's also valid wanting to wanting to to learn how to stitch in hand but it's not because one way it's better that than the other so you need to, to appreciate uh, different types of stitching and enjoy different techniques. Me, for example, I, I love to, to stitch in hand. I really try for many years to stitch uh, with a hoop or with a stand and never f felt uh, really comfortable with it. And it was until I I decided not to use the, the hoop or the stand that I feel more free <laughs> and more, um, you know, uh, happy with my stitching. And it was funny with me because I really want to stitch uh, with a hoop or with a stand to be part of the popular <laughs> stitchers um, you know because I, I watch many videos and and Instagram and types of, of stitching where they where where they use um, hoops and stands and I thought you know that might be the right way to stitch so <laughs> I try many many years to stitch like like that but fortunately <laughs> I learned that I can stitch the way that I want to stitch and 
is not a bad way to stitch in without a, a, a frame or a hoop. They are just different methods of stitching. So yeah, and I was I was uh, joking in my Spanish video that uh, the 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 stitchers who use um, hoop or a frame they are very much like the poster child of a stitching because they look so pretty you know with those beautiful wooden frames or metal fr frames and the fabric really tight like a drum <laughs> and you know it's it's a very classic image stitching with a, a frame or, or a hoop but I'm not a, a poster child, <laughs> a poster girl, um, a cover girl, <laughs> so I mm. stitch um, in hand and using the, the sewing method that I, I didn't even know that it was called so, sewing method. I just, you know, um, stitch the way my 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 hand feels better so yeah that's that's the way I stitch and I was really really happy because even though we don't have the same technique with Nicole uh, both of us stitch in hand using the 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 sewing method but she's much much faster than me uh, very very precise and yeah it's it's a motivation <laughs> to to try to be to be a better stitcher um, I find that the use of the correct a needle it's very important also you know the right lighting and magnification uh, in her case I uh, she she was not using um, a magnification uh, lens so I uh, I guess um, she 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 doesn't need that uh, magnification, but I need the the magnification. I I can stitch without uh, my glasses, and perhaps without the the magnification lens. But I prefer <laughs> stitching with that. It's it's more. Um, comfortable for me and also her her fabric was I don't know perhaps a little um, loose I don't know but the way she she moves that needle through the the fabric it's great <laughs> so yeah we, we always have um, that um, opportunity and that window to to become better as teachers and uh, learning from from different friends and you know being able to be uh, humble enough to say you know what I I know how to stitch <laughs> but there's always someone who's who's better than me and who teach who who might teach me something so you know be 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 humble enough to and and open enough to accept that um that experience from other teacher it's it's a good thing i guess <laughs> oops i i guess i make a mistake here let's see that's it so yeah, 
uh, and talking about mistakes i <laughs> i have to to remove all this central color and it it's not looking really different <laughs> from the way it was with the wrong color but it's really light this this color in the center but it's more of this pink family of color because the color that i uh, stitch on the the wrong one was more in a in a cream shade of of light color so yeah i guess um i i had to to stitch it again <laughs> you know i make the mistake and i have to to fix it sometimes i i leave the the mistakes are as they are and trying to you know fudge the the other colors but in this case yeah i i change all the all this color and this is her beautiful face i also make a conversion using darker uh, colors in her skin and i was talking about how to make a conversion there are uh, some um, like picture with different conversion from really light uh, skin color to a, a darker a, a, a richer uh, skin color so in this case I use what um, I thought <laughs> that my work um, I can't remember really what colors are these, but it's something like um, 422 and this one, I can't remember. <laughs> I will try to, to look the, the colors because I just was making, you know, um, floss toss with the colors and decided which one to use and then, and, and then I put them away. But yeah, I, I try to make my my face darker, you know, more like a, a, a Mexican uh, pixie. <laughs> so yeah, you can use those um, um, picture with with different uh, skin conversion. And I was talking about how in in my Spanish uh, video how to make a conversion, for example, uh, of the dress or some part of the designs, because sometimes we we like a design, but we might think, you know what, I don't like that yellow dress. And I love that design, but if the color of, of the wings were different, I probably stitched it. Um, so you can make a conversion uh just if if you want to make a conversion of a certain um, motif in the design um, you will need to to count how many shades of of colors are in in that part of the design for example in this central part of her dress or in this pink dress um, Nora is using uh, four five five shades of, of thread of floss so you you will need to to go to your um, or to a DMC color chart you can um, if you don't have one you can check an uh, image from the internet with the with with uh, DMC chart color chart and what is is not color chart is the color card and you can choose you know um, four or five uh, shades in the color that you like for example um, green green shades or blue or red or orange and you need to find five um, 
five reds or five five orange or five uh, blues you know from dark to light and if you can find uh, five shades for example that you like you can uh, combine uh, if you have one dark color and then the medium and then a light color you can put one thread of the dark and one thread of the medium and, and create that um, color in between so you have an, one more <laughs> of, of the shades that you might need so yeah you can play with all that possibilities uh, in the in the case of the skin um, I like to use uh, those um, cards or picture with different types of skin because it's easy um, it's, it's easy to follow <laughs> those colors because skin it can be a little tricky it is not just change it from pink to blue or to green or to purple but you have to find the, the right shades of, of um, you know highlight and dark uh, shade so yeah <laughs> It's not it's, it's, it's not difficult you just need to to play <laughs> and trying to be adventure if that is what you want because sometimes you just want to stitch a, a design as it is so that's okay too I guess <laughs> so yeah my weekend was <laughs> Um, you know, stitching and undone, undoing what I was was already uh, stitching. So yeah, not much much progress this time, but uh, I can finish next week. So that would be okay. And yeah, next week I will uh, have a more. <laughs> A, a more uh, entertaining entertainment no a more fun video with m some you know finishes and and new projects and and gifts and stuff so yeah <laughs> okay I will have to keep stitching this this little uh, pixie, it's Moon's Hood. Moon's Hood. Uh, it's a, a poisonous, poison uh, flower. So yeah, really sassy lady. <laughs> and this part was. Uh, it's it's also uh, the the color of the skin but it was really light i i don't i didn't like it so i decided to to put some back stitching with metallic floss and you know close this part of her cleavage so <laughs> it would look uh good i hope but yeah i i will try to finish her <laughs> next week and uh, my friend Julia uh, Armada, it's the name of her channel, in and and also the name of her Instagram page. It's also stitching this this uh, design. She she's using a uh, uh, a twenty eight Lugana, but she's stitching one over one. So. That's why we are <laughs> using the the hashtag uh, tiny mirror because that's the idea to make these little fairies and pixies in a in a small way in a small uh, version. So yeah, thank you for for joining me. Um, I hope we could. Be stitching together thank you for for <laughs> be stitching with me because otherwise I will be watching uh, 
television. <laughs> so this way I can stitch and we can talk and we can have a good time. So yeah, have a, a great week. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your families. And I will see you in my next video. Ah, I'm also going to put here the winner of the the giveaway for the PDF uh, pattern from Michelle Bendis Tichy. Uh, her design mm, patriotic patriotic uh, pinky. Uh, she she gave me a PDF uh, pattern to give away. So yeah, I will put the winner here. And you know, if you want to to get a, a design from Michelle, you can visit her page is bendystitchydesigns.com and there are a lot of, of really beautiful uh, patterns. So yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Happy stitching. <laughs>